Um, okay, this one is called 10 Reasons Why Loving You and Hating You Were Not That Different. One, I thought a lot about kissing you and killing myself, and somehow they've never felt that different, too. For the longest time, I thought love tasted like cigarette smoke and $4 vodka. I thought love was built by broken bones and sex like poison, like forever in the dark, dank and damp like something left to rot. I thought poetry was something for other people, and I was only worth as low as you would mark, and you always set the bar as low as strength would allow you to hold me. Three, you forgot to hold me. Not hold me down, drag me out, kick me in, but just Hold me, just hold me. Four, when I would lose control, get lost in my tidal wave tears and feel sobs rip through my chest like hurricanes, you'd forget my name. You'd start to call me Katrina. You never understood the pain. You never even tried, five. To me, our love was a masterpiece, a work of heart, but to you it was scrap paper. First drafts and rough sketches, something to be looked over, patched, scratched, rubbed out, replaced, erased, something to be thrown away, something to forget about, something you forgot about. Six, you always hated my poetry. Seven, you made me hate my poetry. Eight, I never knew what hate tasted like until you put your hand in mine after I stopped loving you. It was like blood and poison, like cigarette smoke and cheap alcohol. It was everything broken in me, surfacing to cut my tongue, and every ghost I'd ever swallowed coming up to haunt me nine. I've spent so much time hating you. Your name burns my mouth like fire. Michelle. Like a drug that courses through my veins, this hatred, it is killing me softly. 10, I think a lot about kissing you and killing myself and somehow they've never felt that different.